I don't think a lot of us know about small cell cancer of any other type. We don't know the questions to ask. You know, we don't know where to go. So my thing is, it's very, the information was great. You know, cause I didn't know. You know, five months ago, I didn't know. I was walking around here and didn't know anything. Never heard of small cell, you know, cancer. And then all of a sudden they say, you got small cell cancer and it's, and it's one of the deadly ones. It can come back, it can hide, it can do whatever it want to do, you know. So uh, I've learned a lot. In the last five months, I've been educated about cancer. What, what impact uh, have on the community and the congregation? I think it'll, people will start taking a look at themselves when they see other people, you know, when they see others that's going through things that you, they never thought everything was good. But you see people walking around, you think everything is great. And then all of a sudden, boom. You hear about, wait a minute, that guy got small cell? And see, so now uh, I got friends, never been checked. Now all of them gone got checked for going to get their blood work done, everything. <laughs> My neck had swollen up like I had the mumps. It was that big. And I couldn't talk, you know, I was like, ah. and then I was uh, out of breath. I lay down, you know, catch myself, breath cutting off, and uh, I was being hard-headed, you know. It'll be all right, it's gonna go down, everything gonna be all right. And it got so bad that my daughters and wife couldn't take it any longer, and my family. So they, they basically, they kidnapped me and took me to the emergency room. I'm from a period where you shake it off, and you're gonna be all right. You know, we're from the strong air, where you shake everything off. Man, go on, you'll be all right. You know, you, hey, get a couple of days, it'll go down. A couple of days, I've probably been dead. I had a spot on my brain, it's all gone. Spot on my chest, uh, it's gone down. Everything is going, I'm doing great. It, it's looking, it's looking good, you know? So we just continue to do maintenance, make sure everything is all right. Do whatever the doctors say do. Do not medicate your own self. You know, people are gonna tell you all these remedies that are due, but do what the doctors say, you know. And like I say, I got a team of some of the best, and I trust them, and we got a relationship. You know, I know that might not be common with a lot of folks, but, uh, you know, I'm a, be a good patient like I am. Change your diet, change your eating habits, you know, change the things that you know and you know, we all know what's good for us and what's bad for us. And so no matter, if it tastes good, it might not be good for you. And that's where I was, you know, I was a sweet eater. You know, love, man, hey, man, I, hey, I love sweets. And, but I was killing myself. Stop smoking, never have smoked, never. If I know, now, you know, but I knew. That's what's so crazy about it. That's what's so crazy. Man, I've been covering this stuff for 40 years. I knew, but it ain't gonna happen to me. And you know, oh man, ain't nothing gonna happen to me. I knew better. You know, and that's why I was saying in there, if this is my play to help somebody by the, what I, mistake I made, you know, you never know what God uses you for. Huh? You, you never know. I told a lady, uh, we was having chemo, and we laughing and talking. With, she said, how can you be like this? I say, God don't get the glory whether I live or die. And she said, you think he would have given you that? I said, yeah, he gave it to me to meet you. You know, I said, to meet you. And she said, to meet me? I said, same one.